Uh, KB, instead of hamburger, you should have your new slogan, pan handler. Yeah. Kidding. Show is great. Yeah, I think we got to do a pan. We, we, we'll definitely Go call ahead. it. Yell it pan. now. Yell it. Well, definitely your show is called Pan Handler, and then <laughs> I, that might be my new catchphrase. Pan Handler. Clip it. Like hamburger. Hamburger. Pan. Yeah. Oh, maybe I'll do my catchphrase on, when I'm on the road, and then uh, and then a hamburger will sue me, and we'll go to court, and I'll have it'll be like when one uh, record company yeah, sees another it. record company for for uh, stealing their music, and then I'll, yeah. in court he'll go hamburger, and I'll go <laughs> pan <laughs> handler, <laughs> and, it, and I'll be like they're totally different. It was like uh, remember uh, uh, it's like Vanilla, the Gallagher Vanilla, brothers. Vanilla Ice stole uh, that uh, that J- David Bowie, David Bowie song, yeah. under pressure. Yep, and he's like, no, I do this, so I'll go and be like. Pan hamburger, and I'll be like, Remember Pan, when Gallagher won? Pan and two went after each other, yeah, they sued each other because one was a magician, anything. right? Pan, <laughs> Pan handler is totally different than hamburger. I They're love totally it, totally different. Uh, t shirts right away, t shirts, come on, Pan, yeah, I want to present. Melton said he's coming for you, Casey. He also warned rustic cuts to take special care with his package. If they don't match his standards, oh boy! Cool. It will be handed off to him like the Stanley Cup. We have a guy with white gloves handing off the meat to Melton. It'll be a a truck just filled with his meat and surrounded uh, surrounded by uh, dry ice. There'll be a guy. So that fat fuck is not uh, (laughs) dissatisfied. Don't be mad. Let you look. You can't turn on him before he turns on you. No, no. The only way he can get that meat is this is if he gets a bike and he's the one that tows it to wherever it's got to go. He's got to burn those calories. Pan handler. Pan handler. Bob Flavie, the first thing Chad didn't lie about the other day, Pete dying. So sad. Pete was a great guy. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Chad, yeah, he didn't lie about that. Imagine if he was lying about that, too. Live at five. He was a uh, Pete. There was no owner like Pete. Never. He would fuck with everybody. He just had fun all the time. He was nuts. Yeah, the first time the first time he brought me in, he made a special event, and there was like twelve people. I go, why'd you make a special event? He goes, he, he said something about compound media or something. I was like, uh, I heard Mario Cantone was short, so it could be. Oh, so, so he, he could, could blow you without getting on his knees. Uh, allegedly, allegedly, uh, allegedly. Is he friends with Piazza? No, Mario Cantona. Mario Cantona has always been, uh, he's never closeted or anything. You don't no. think I know what Steam Pipe Alley is? Oh, well, that's that was the one thing he was inappropriate about. No, he had a kid show called Steam Pipe Alley, and he, and he was a, a, a gay man. Hey, kids, it's time for Steam Pipe Alley. Here is Skippin' on something a shop. And that, then that smell a little. So up. Kev, if you ever watch it now as an adult, it was so misplaced. Are you ready to have fun? Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's get things rolling, rolling, rolling. We're rolling, rolling with our first contestant. Hello, my dear. Come on. What's your name? Canela. Canela, Canela. How are you, Canela? That means cinnamon in Spanish, which means she's so spicy and sweet. We love her. Okay, now, we have a little game here called Find the Pit and the Avocado. Do you know that avocados keep those people on the coast like totally cool? Do you know that? No. Because they have avocado salads. And do you eat avocados? Do you like avocados? <laughs> well, I don't either. But I know when you're on the coast, you eat them because it's cool, baby. Give me some avocados with as as it's bad. I can't. It's delicious. Well. I mean, and he's telling these kids like to do this obstacle course that the, that the, it was real creepy. Up and- his alley. It yeah, should have been yeah, shit yeah, pipe yeah, alley. Nobody, shit pipe alley. Nobody. That was already taken. That shit was already pipe taken. alley. Tip to my Lou. Trip to my Lou. Glory days. Bob, is this a gay G appearance because of you? Hack! 
Yeah, oh, Kevin no. watched it the other night, and he's like, get him on. I want him on. He goes, he was laughing. Wait, is this your nickname? K- Gacy? Gacy, yes. There, there were some people that called me Gacy because they thought I was a little homosexual piazza type thing. Mm-hmm. Well, you kissed the man, though. I did, but Kev, I didn't mean to. I thought it was a Chinese broad. How many days did you do it for? Uh, two or... Uh... All right, once we're, while we're here, we might as well. We got the room <laughs> for the whole night. Why not? <laughs> One in Rome... Suck a cock. You want to wrestle? <laughs> hey, let me ch- let me show you show you some of my moves that my parents taught me back at the camp. <laughs> KC, how how did you end up getting connected with Johnny Fredo, uh, Eric the Midget's handler? How did you meet him? Uh, Johnny Fredo was a guy down in Beverly Hills. Uh, his father worked for Capone. And uh, he was a guy that could sell anything to anybody. And he needed guys, uh, we'll just say guys out on the street for him. He needed guys uh, that would be around and uh, could turn him on to uh, certain, uh, certain episodes. Like, for instance, the only thing I could explain it to you is, have you ever seen the movie? Um, it's, I think it's Donnie Brasco and Al Pacino is hitting the... Uh, the uh the the quarter meter and he's hitting it with a hammer trying to get the quarters out do you do you remember that scene he's he's trying to get quarters out of this uh public public okay well basically that is these little jobs that you people would try and go for you know um you you, you didn't understand that reference at all extra money Okay, probably because nobody has uh, a quarter for parking anymore. They used to have these things on the side of the street. You'd put a quarter in, you could park. So a couple of these mobsters took the, the thing out, and they, and they got it, and they're trying to hit it with a hammer to get, get the quarters out. Those jobs, those inane jobs, were a lot of the things that I did. All right. That clears up that. You're welcome, Spectre, NSRD, $5. It's amazing. I don't know if it was worth $5, but. Wait, uh, somebody said uh, you went tanning on 9-11? Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. Is that a known it was, story? It was that, it was that day or the day after. Ch- Tom Chiasano said that we could go home. Anybody who wants to go home can go home. And nobody went home because uh, they were saying over the news that Long Island, Brooklyn, Jersey, all the bridges are closed. So everyone's stuck in the city. But I was going to go out, and uh, I was—I didn't want to stay at work. So the last thing I wanted—that's the last place I wanted to be. Somebody tells me I'm, I'm going to leave work. If I can leave work, I leave that second. I don't have to ask questions. I'm gone. So I left. Okay, but that's not the story. That's not the story. Then you went to a tanning salon. Uh, yeah. If if it was that day, on my way back, I got through to Long Island, and uh, if they were open, which they uh, they must have been, I went tanning. Uh, on the way to go see my friends because they were going out on their boat um, and going fishing. I've heard a lot of bullshit stories, and that's right. That's right up there. I mean, I'm friends with Chad Zumach. Wait, I'm, I'm went, telling, you, I'm went, telling you, Kev. I'm telling you that you is went tanning. Honest. You went tanning because your friends were going on a boat. Not on because, no, it was because it was on my way home. And if it was open, I mean, uh, I, I got out of work probably at about twelve thirty instead of like three thirty. And uh, I was able to get out of the city and uh, on my way back to the island. And I passed by the the uh, tanning salon. And even if it was that day, it was the next day. But if it was open, I went in uh, before I met my friends out on the uh, on the boat to go fishing. Uh, OK, Bob, what would you do on 9-11? Not proud of it, but I mean, I was on. at a uh, celebrity golf tournament in Delaware. <laughs> Who, was the cele- golf. Who was the celebrity in your foursome? Uh, it wasn't me. Uh, Carol, your premium was there. <laughs> Wait, were you the celebrity? Yeah. David Brenner? <laughs> no, Carol, you, the, the field goal kicker from, uh, you gotta have a lot Dolphin. of balls that go like, uh, they, no, it was every, more, it was a everyone comedy stand thing. on the table. You're like, who's the celebrity? And you're like, I, think I am. It's, I think it's me. <laughs> you're like, who are you? <laughs> you at least better, better hit a good tee shot off the first tape. No, it was, we used to do it every year and it was great. It just happened to fall on that. We were there. We woke up to it in the morning on the news. And basically, uh, it was weird because there was no planes in the air and, we're playing golf because we couldn't go home really. We they're like, you know, they're closing the bridges and shit. You couldn't even go home from Delaware? 
Yeah, I guess Jersey. That's what they were saying. And we were there already. So what are you going to do? Uh, so, uh, and so Gary, your premium was the big name at the golf yeah, tournament? Yeah, there was other people. I don't remember. It was so, you know, so long ago. All right. Uh, OG Andy, can we get an aw, aw, shuck daddy? Good to see you back in radio podcasting, KC. Thanks, Alan. Aw, shuck it, duck it. That's nice what he, oh, that's what he wanted. I thought he wanted the, the aw. Shuck it, um, duck it. <laughs> Panhandler. Panhandler. I, I, I think I think we're caught up. I think we're caught up with the panhandling for today. Uh, tomorrow's right. always tomorrow's going to be another day of panhandlings. But but before we hang up and uh, do your plugs, Casey, because mm-hmm. the fans got to know. The fans seem to like you. A couple guys who are Mountain fans, I think, came yeah. at you a little hard, but uh, uh, that, that happens. Well. I just came. He's on had here guys come team. at him hard before. <laughs> <laughs> when he was at the tanning booth. Right, right. Now, guys, I just came out to meet you guys. I got a YouTube channel. It's the Casey Armstrong. That's it. Just came out. Yeah, to but meet where you guys. where did they find it? How they find your channel? Uh, on YouTube, uh, the Casey Armstrong. Yeah. That's it. And how about on Twitter? Uh, same thing. Yeah. Same thing. I never go on there though. Why? Uh, the, the show is played on there. I I I um I just do my show and uh, then I, I move on to the next one. Okay, so the, and the stuttering John, you're you're totally against stuttering John, but you were friends at one point. We uh when when we worked together and then uh, afterwards, yeah, I guess we were uh, we were uh, we were friends. I thought we were friends, and I, I like to hang out with him one on one. But when you get him in a group with other people, he's always got to kind of one up. He's kind of got to do something different, but. Um, I liked the guy. I still do like him. I don't have uh, anything except for the things he said uh, uh, about me, and uh, I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to see any damage to him. I don't want to see him get hurt. I want him to be happy, and I'm glad he and his family are having a great life. And I wish more of that. You're talking about who? You're talking about John still? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I skip around a lot. I'm sorry, but that Clip was all my job. He said John's gonna turn on me because he's gonna turn on you will. with your fucking mouth like that. Listen to you. Oh, he will. With my mouth like how? I'll open. You just said something. Bad. You're still talking about John. I it wait until he gets that, get it's that a, clip out, Adam. It's a joke. It's theoretically. It's not it's a, a, it's he a, doesn't a, take jokes well, Kevin. It's a comedy podcast in Kevin. theory. Uh, Casey, remember when Stutcho was making fun of you for leaving early on 9-11? Uh, how close were you to hitting him? That is the closest I've come to hitting somebody. Uh, at Wait, war. I thought you just said you were allowed to leave early on 9-11. No, this was three days later or two days later uh, uh, when, when uh, they're like, oh, how come such and such left? Uh, you know, we all were in the we were in the pits. We were we were in the foxholes. I'm like, you do shit. You sat here and you talked. You didn't do shit. Um, if somebody, my boss says you can leave, I'm fucking leaving. There's no reason for me to be here. It, my my political commentary is definitely not warranted or wanted in this case. So, so John uh, John went after you for not sticking around with did. everybody. He did, and he went over the top, and he said, "What are you gonna do?" That right there is different yeah. than um, you uh, acted like a pussy or you, or you left. We were all here, blah blah blah. He goes, uh, "What are you gonna do?" And that is not what you say to me. Um, just to uh, man to man, you don't challenge another man to their face um, unless you're in a place where you know that I can't hit you. Uh, like on a Zoom show? Or if you got three fingers. No, in his no, ass. no. In, 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 <laughs> at at K Rock, well, I'm not going to throw away my career. Yeah. And thank God I didn't because I was that close to hitting the motherfucker. Okay. And that's not good. Uh, Bob Sly, baby, is there an RIP show at the Funny Stop for Pete? You should really sh- show, Bob. What? Uh, he said you should go there if there is. If there, is there an RIP show? At, I haven't at been the there Stop. since like 2016. Bob can't go. Bob, Bob's busy. Uh, he's busy. I got, I got. I'm swimming and shit. So. Yeah, but there. they got literally, literally, pun intended, he's swimming and shit. So, uh, but they've got plenty of comics that they got plenty of comics that will do a, a RIP mm-hmm. show. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, comics will do anything for stage time, even if it's <laughs> R.I.P. show. Yeah, I'll do I'll do ten minutes, and then they'll go long, and I'd be like, J- "That's the way. That's what Pete would have wanted." That's what I love when uh, 
That's what he would have wanted. He would have wanted me to fuck his wife the day after the funeral. <laughs> That's what he would have wanted. That's what people always say. Always hacks. True. Uh, I was just feet. talking to him in the, last night. He yeah, said, always just had the conversation with yep, him. You ever noticed that? I had just had him on the died. phone. I just had yeah. him on the phone. I just talking to Lou Gehrig. What, what are the odds? KC, can you play that piano or do men just make love to you on it? The odds <laughs> are. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Or He's going to fuck you in the ass to stay quiet. On, on the piano. He's what? saying you're a bit of a Liberace, I think he's saying. People right. have been saying that for years. No, you just woke up. Nothing I can do about it. It's All right, that's good one, though. Good one. Joe Liberace. Burrow. Joe Burrow's a good egg, anyway. KC, yeah, how bad do you want Prime Robin? Bob did badly. When I first got there, I think I got there in 97. I was an intern. I never. Uh, she was always nice, and we were friends. She came over to my 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 place. I made her lunch Ooh. one time, but I just never, uh, Kev, never got the. She came food. over to your place. She came over for lunch. Yeah, I brought her over. And she, I made her lunch. And you didn't and do. Casey you didn't did try nothing. No, no, I never, I never had that uh, the uh, attraction that you got. You know, with like to women. <laughs> <laughs> but she had a dick. I'd be all over that. <laughs> She really wasn't packing up much that day. Uh. <laughs> Bob, you made a move on uh, on uh, no, Robin. No, oh. no. Uh, I respect her a lot. And uh, look, when you're up there, it's like these are people you grew up uh, listening to. So it's a different thing, you know. I just hold turned on. their lives on the way out. No. Oh, hold on, Kev. I'll give you a good hold one. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh. Kev. Uh, I I will give you one memory, Robin memory, and uh, just just because we're friends, um, I remember one time going into her, she had this little studio where she'd do the news from, and I walked in there, and next to Florentine, the worst smelling fart I've ever smelled in my life, and she knew it. She knew I came in at the wrong oh my time God. because she she looked at me, and she kind of had this. I saw the 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 look on her face she, where she knew she just dropped ass. And I walked right through it, man. And uh, I bet she'd laugh at it if, if she knew that. That's your 9-11. <laughs> yeah. I thought, I thought you might appreciate it. That's I, a, that, was, that was a... Yeah, I don't mind my, what women for it. I really don't mind. Hey, Kevin, uh, how does it feel to single-handedly make the Stern Show relevant again? Beetlejuice next. <laughs> Is he dead, Beetlejuice? No. He's, He's retired in uh, Georgia. Uh, I, 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 someone's doing well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're done, Adam. Oh, we're done Adam. again. Great job, Casey. And yeah. uh, thank yeah. you, buddy. Go ahead, Adam. Oh no, I was just saying we're caught up. Yeah. All right, good. All right, I'll so go tomorrow, uh, uh, July twelfth and thirteenth. Come on out if you. My are. favorite club, the twelfth and thirteenth. Is that this weekend? No, uh, it's like next Wednesday and Thursday. So. All right, so uh, tomorrow will be a four o'clock because I don't have any. Uh, I don't, I don't have to do it at five, so it'll be a four. And uh, I and uh, go to Patreon if you want to watch, listen to old episodes or or current episodes or anything. And uh, shout out to everybody. I'm getting a lot of emails. Like most of the time, I can't read them, and uh, people send me links and clips and everything. And we're having a good time. We're doing it, as they say on the uh, uh, on the on the chat show. We're doing it. We're so doing my it. My dog is coming. My dog's coming. It's We're doing in. it. Things That's are awesome. happening. Yeah. Is that a rescue, buddy? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Bob, you're gonna have a dog and a pool. I'm having and a fence. And that dog better noodle. know how to swim. That's all. They I can know say. how to swim. Let's see I'd if hate... you fucking know how to swim when I fucking hold you under. You fucking traitor. I'd hate to see. I hate to see you. You finally get that pool thing. Your new dog fucking drowns in your fucking pool. That'd well, be terrible. I definitely won't be talking about it. Come I'll on, make believe Ted. it's here. Don't, 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 what? Don't, uh, You're gonna make you put a curse and he bad. fucking jinxes everything. You're never happy for nobody. <laughs> I'm Look a panhandler. Fucking joke. <laughs> <laughs>